what we want to do is sort of fuse some of these ideas that come from biology and ask how they play out in the computer to solve real world problems as well as to answer basic questions uh, of, of biological interest. So it's kind of a really neat fusion uh, for us. I think that's what makes us so excited as these colleagues who share deep interests with us and yet are studying completely different things. And, and your colleagues are nodding. Profusa, it's, it, you, you, it's <laughs> obviously, absolutely. Professor Holcomb, you agree with what he's saying? Very much so, yeah, absolutely. I think this is really one of the most exciting opportunities that's uh, been available at, at Michigan State since I've been on the faculty, certainly. This is really bringing together two enormously fast moving and rich fields of, of study and uh, hopefully the, the fusion of the two will take us to places we dream never dreamed possible. Uh, Eric, we, we talked about Beacon. This is a huge deal. First of all, what does Beacon stand for? Uh, it stands for the uh, Biocomputational Evolution in Action Consortium. And we're never saying that again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for acronyms. Uh, yes. this is good. Uh, really, we're going to call it Beacon. Uh, it, it's symbolic, too. It, we're trying to shed light on some important issues. And uh, uh, we call it a Center for the Study of Evolution in Action. So that's the the formal title, Beacon uh, Center for Study of Evolution in Action. And uh, what, what uh, uh, Kay was saying, uh, in the excitement of bringing these groups together, uh, we're trying to impart our students, uh, or impart that into our students so that they see the same kind of excitement and they have a, a background both in uh, the biological side of the house and the digital side of the house. It gives them tools and ways of looking at these questions and that that none of us grew up with. We all, you know, l came out of one field and then inserted ourselves painfully into the other. Well, our students are going to come out with a much broader uh, background and they'll, we, we think, you know, they'll grow up intellectually thinking about these issues from both points of view and that's going to, that's going to have a tremendous effect in the future, we think.